Egypt up against Olivia Fichter, the number three seed of the USA. I'd just like to welcome our viewers from YouTube and also Facebook. This match will be streaming live and for free on those uh, different platforms. Well, Nader Abbas is just knocking up on the left-hand side here in the blue dress from Egypt. 23 years of age. She's currently 22 in the world, but she's been as high as 12. Been on the tour now for eight years. In that time, managing to rack up three trophies from 12 attempts. Seriously powerful player. Just under 60% in her win rate. She's been in fine form on this court so far here in Texas. And on the right hand side there, we have Olivia Fichter. Number three seed here. We just saw her counterpart, Amanda Sobi, play some brilliant squash. She'll be trying to emulate that. Number nine in the world, but she's been in inside the top eight at number seven. Lots of experience as well now. 28 years of age and 13 years on the PSA World Tour. And she's been a champion five times on the PSA World Tour so far with a healthy 60% win rate, just under. And there's the head-to-head. -head. Olivia Victor with the uh, advantage so far. They had a, a really tight match just uh, last month, in fact, in, in the Paris event. The second round, Victor just coming through 12-10 in the fifth in that one. So I think we're in for a treat in this match tonight. Quite fitting that it's uh, it's going to go out on YouTube and Facebook. Well, I'm Simon Park, and joining me again for this match is Tesney Evans, former world number nine. Good evening, Tez. Good evening. I think this is going to be a cracker of a match. I think this is probably the pick of the of the four matches we've got um, tonight. So I think this is going to be good. Yeah, I mean, obviously that. Yeah, the 12, 10, and the fifth just just last month in Paris. It's yeah, it's got uh, classic written all over it. They're both very clean strikers of the ball, good movers, and very fair players too. They just want to get on with the game, and yeah, looking forward to this one. I think it's quite interesting that they've played three times this year already. Uh, obviously, not technically this season, but uh, three times this year, and, and obviously Olivia Fichter's taken all three of them. So it's definitely going to be for. Abbas to come out here and, and have learned something from those matches. 12-10 in the fifth, I mean, it doesn't really get much closer than that in the last match. So, I'm, yeah, I think this is going to be a, a tight one. Yeah, she's just getting a little bit closer as, as time wears on. I, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, so the first time that they played, now that Abbas won, but it was at the Racket Club Pro Series. I'm assuming that that was a, a traditional court. Yeah, and the, the, um, the second one would be as well. Yeah. So, in, in fact... All of these matches are probably on a traditional court, I would assume. So this will probably be the first time they'll have faced up on a glass court. Okay. So even Paris was... Yeah, it was on a b would have been on the traditional, traditional court, round two, probably. Sure. Um, ah, so, right. could so this could be very interesting, who this, th who this suits. Both quite experienced, though, on glass courts, and I don't think that will have a major um, factor in this match. But obviously... More just styles, I think. Yeah. If, if one prefers a glass in terms of their style, I, I'm sure they won't be nervous or anything like that on there. But it's just the just styles of game, isn't it? Sometimes with the who, who's the more attacking, perhaps, or mixes it up more. So Abbas is more of a, a power hitter, isn't she? Whereas Victor, it, it, she is obviously strong, but she. Play will uh, start she's she looks for a bit more maybe precision around the court and tries to out position her opponent yeah she moves the ball around really well doesn't she and just finds space when she's playing so I definitely think it will be for a bass to come out and as she's showing Play us here I mean it's incredible I mean she's she's small in stature isn't she but she gives it one so hell of a clout yeah <laughs> so so strong Nada Abbas of Egypt to serve Olivia Victor of the United States. 
United States to receive. Best of five games. Well, we already have one American through to the semi-finals here in Houston. Can Olivia Victor make it two? She will be up against Amanda Sobe if she can do that, if she can convert this evening. Do you think home advantage is going to play any part for, for Victor tonight? No, I don't really think so. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure it's going to have much of an advantage, to be fair. I think it's not it's not um, home home, obviously, for, for Victor. It's not New York. No, but um, I, th I just think it's, it's not a big enough sort of atmosphere to create that edginess or... You know, there's there's people obviously watching, but it's it's not like when you go to Egypt and there's sort of 500, 600 yeah. people watching. It's not a baying crowd, is it? <laughs> no, they're, they're gonna they're yes, not gonna well. be super against um, Abbas in this in this case as well. Sure. So I don't think it will make too much um, of a difference. you get a chance to play much in uh, in Wales in, in big events? No. no. That's a shame, isn't it? It is. I absolutely love that. I think yeah. before I before I uh, retire, I would, there's nothing I'd love more than to have a big tournament um, and held in Wales. Um, we can definitely do it. I mean, we've got the sort of a, a good venue for it um, in Cardiff. It has to be in Cardiff so we could get a lot of people. It would be so popular, honestly. It would be such a good thing um, I know in the past they had the British Open didn't they absolutely well during my career you would have played there there's a lot going on in Wales yeah, yeah. there are a lot of big events the uh, Leaks Welsh Classic Four, one. all sorts of huge huge events British Open yeah we've we've only really had since I've been playing um, PSL team which was absolutely amazing um, filling out filling it out every single week uh, it's so good to play um, in a home crowd so I think the closest I've ever had to that is probably playing in Manchester. Yeah. Which although sure. it's not it's not home, it's very close. It's close me. enough. Yeah, and you get a lot of Welsh people crossing over the border to come and watch, so no. hopefully we can get maybe yeah, a British I Open or Hello. more Before. likely um, a British close maybe even. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking like that, that myself. But these uh, these two players here, one American, one Egyptian, get plenty of opportunities, don't they, to play in front of the home crowd, whether there's a large crowd or not, it's just that feeling of your the home soil underneath your feet is just gives you confidence. It's definitely an advantage, and we see a lot of tournaments now in these two countries mainly, don't we? We do play a lot in we the do. US, and it's just it's such an advantage travel-wise as well, and logistically, and friends and family being able to come and watch. So uh, whilst we are lucky, we get a bit of the UK, we don't get five, two. as much. Some of the movement here from Abbas is just breathtaking. She looks like she's gonna do herself an injury as, as I said she's small in stature isn't she and, but very very strong and, and very flexible obviously she's quite confident to almost slide into the shot sometimes like a French Open tennis yeah. Yeah, it's unusual for Victor and out 3-5 I think, I think Abbas wanted the uh, the ball a bit sooner there as Victor went off for a little solo. <laughs> it's 
good length for Victor. Down. And again, unusual for, for her, isn't it, Tez? Yeah, she doesn't normally tend to make many errors. Again, to play a like a bass, well, anyone really, it's not just a bass, but um, you do want to limit sort of how many errors you are making, especially this early on in the match. I think it's definitely quite noticeable uh, this season from what I've seen of of Victor, she is definitely playing with a lot more intensity than I think in previous um, seasons that I've seen and, and adding that into a game, I think every shot you can just see she is definitely trying to play with a little bit more pace and aggression and intensity. Yeah, more purpose, like there, positivity through the shot. Yeah. I mean there, even though she missed it, she was very positive. Good position, isn't it? Yeah. Bag. Victor on that drop shot. That's pacey, isn't it, from Abbas? Stroke to Abbas. Six five. You like to have a little shout on the court sometimes, Tez, but I'm not sure you quite get that that volume. It's quite impressive. I'm like quiet like a mouse, aren't I, <laughs> when I play? No, just, just not as loud as that. <laughs> no. Too far to go. We all do it. Too far to go. It's got to be done as well. Makes it way more exciting. Absolutely. Yes. Yes, 7 5. Good little mini comeback here from. From a bass helps a few errors as well, hasn't she? By, by Victor, but yeah, that's the difference really. Just that, just there's been about three, I think, three or possibly even four forced errors from Victor, which is very rare. She'll be kicking herself. She'll keep fighting. Still pretty close in Stroke to Victor. on the scoreboard. Your movement is reviewed. Yes. Okay. Player review. A bass on the stroke to suit. I'm not sure here if they've given a stroke for the, the movement or I'm not quite sure. No, I'm not sure. The sort of I don't think it's a stroke. That's what I am no, sure about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think she's done much wrong there. I mean, no. That would be quite harsh if this is upheld. Yes, led decision overruled. Has I think that's a fair overall. It, it wasn't too much wrong sure. there. Seven five. Made think a point. Yeah, made a point, didn't yeah. she? Yeah. Um. I, I think um, I had a little chat with Amanda Sobe yesterday about this. I think players should be allowed to just make their point like that. It was there's nothing. The referee allowed it. You know, it's it's quite quick. It was polite. Polite. Yes, yeah. I was going to say very polite. It was very polite, and and then it was over within you know, five seconds. I think that's okay. I think the referees listen. Well, in that case, I think he did. Yeah, uh, it doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> and, I, you know, I don't think the players always listen to the refs, but uh, in that case, that was good. I was happy with that. Stroke to about. Ah! Eight and five. Not as happy with that. It's very, very early ask. I wasn't was just going to yeah. say, yeah, very early ask. We didn't get to see another angle of that, but it's very early ask. And it's a big, big shout on a stroke, isn't it? I'm not sure. Not sure you'd be very happy with that. No, <laughs> no, not at all. It's like when the crowd clap your tin. Oh, <laughs> there's nothing worse. <laughs> Good 
depth there from Abbas. Guess what? Left box, 8-5. Left side. Opportunity there for Victor. Yeah, that's perfect. Two good lengths there, wasn't it? Set that up. Her length has just dropped off slightly. She got on this nice and early, fading it away into that side wall. Very calmly done as well, wasn't it? A lovely finish. As soon as that ball kept the side wall, Victor was in trouble, and Hand you can see Abbas nine, lining up. Look six. at the technique here. Look how still her feet are. That is brilliant technique. Yeah, there's a few balls left there in that middle, though, isn't it? A few service boxes, and, and that last one is it's just going to get punished if she leaves it in that area. Yeah, 100%. Yes, what? I think I think that's correct. Nine six. Didn't go quite as loose as Victor would have hoped. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a cross court available there. Down. Now the length hitting has been Table. very impressive. Well, everything in terms of the hitting has been very impressive from Abbas and she's got four game balls now in this first game. An opportunity to convert against the American. Yes, Lamb. Player review, Abbas on the yes, Lamb decision. I'm not really sure why she's um, reviewing this. It should, it'll stay as a let, in my view. Yeah, and she's also in control of this game at the moment, isn't she? Like, she just let ball, move on. Victor's trying to get out there, and Bass is trying to get in, but... Yeah, just a bit of bit accidental yeah. traffic, isn't it? Um, Both trying to push each other. She's just trying to... Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit harsh. I mean, you can see his arguments. It's one of those funny ones where it's his arguments for the different decisions. But Victor's just got to forget about that now. The game's over. She made too many unforced errors. And that was the difference, really, in the end. As Abbas takes the first 11-6 in 14 minutes and leads by one game to love. making a good start in this first game taking an early lead looking quite confident but Abbas came back very very well in that game good length hitting hard hitting with some very accurate short balls into the front court looking confident towards the end of that game Victor's definitely going to have to just try and find a bit of a better length get that ball coming through to the back and put Abbas under a lot more pressure around the middle of the court Abbas takes a one love lead Play will resume in 60 seconds. will resume in 30 seconds.
15 seconds. So what do you think, Tez? Does, does Victor just have to cut out those? Well, obviously she has to cut out the unforced errors, but is that the the simple key to success, or does, does she need a bit more than that? Yeah, I think that in combination with better length, and we saw a lot of service box hitting, um, which you just need to get a, a bass off that off the middle of the court, lifting well there. It just needs to get her off that middle, especially on that backhand side. There's a lot of stuff on the backhand. I'd be surprised if she didn't try and attack her forehand a little bit more as well. Um, like that. She's not going to miss that. She's going to be there Very all impressive. day. Yeah, she's, she doesn't miss those. And when no. she gets confident on them as well, they're just going to keep going in. I'd be, be surprised if Victor doesn't try and think about switching it a little bit more, getting her in that back uh, forehand corner, Yeah. taking away those weapons. And but no, straight into the cross court. <laughs> yeah. She's definitely a little bit weaker in that back forehand. It's not to overdo it, but just to... Yeah, she's know, not weak, as, but she's yeah, weaker, isn't weaker, she? Yeah, weaker, The backhand is so good. Backhand so is good. so good. Technically, it's very good. But she doesn't she doesn't really attack as much off that forehand. We see a little bit of better length here starting. I think Victor's just got to be a bit more proactive as well, like like you'd say. Yeah, there, there, there you that's go. That's right yeah. on cue. And but she, in general, that's that's the way wow. she's been improving. She's been playing with more more precision and You're just looking for that next one, isn't yeah. it? If you have hit a good length, getting up onto that tee and really then, what can I do with the next ball? What she did there, especially. Oh, what I think she she's got that. that. Yeah, yeah I think a she's got lucky. that. I'm going yeah. to play a left because I'm not sure on the pickup. We can we can work. I Video think that was good. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think just. Um, I think there's not going to take a double either. I think, no. it's, I think it's fine. Stretched out and got a lucky uh, a frame lucky, shot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm with you. I'm pretty sure it was first bounce. We're just checking the video. Here we go here. There's one bounce. Oh no, it's two. Yeah. That's no, two. What, what do we know? That's definitely know. two. Completely you convinced, can see it there. aren't we? One, and then you'll see it bounce before, yeah, that's two. Initially it did look good, but I, I do think this is two. I need to put my glasses on. Or did, was that a miss it? Are you sure that was two? Yeah, I think so. One, positive? Yeah, quite positive. The video was inconclusive, we're going to play left. Well, your eyes are a lot younger than mine, so I was, I was going with you there. They should put your glasses my, on I've put now. my glasses on. One glasses on now. Box. Yeah, you're sure. Initially at the start, yes. in, in fast... Ms. Victor to serve. I do think Victor it, was, it, it did look good, but I think in slow-mo there. Not a bad ploy, though, just to play alert. I, th I think if you're not quite sure. Both players seem fairly happy. Yeah, well, that's when it's good to use the technology, isn't it? <laughs> Victor's still quite adamant Hello. on playing on that Two backhand one. side. I do think if she does try and switch it up a little bit more, it will just open up that backhand side a little bit more than it is right now. It's just yeah, I agree. I agree. She, it's just, um, I mean, she puts the fear of God into me when I'm just, just watching her from here, Abbas, like on look that backhand. That yeah. well. so she's showing us the boast there as well. And the volley drops that go. she plays, uh, you know, outrageous. But you see there, that deep ball into that forehand then. Abbas is wanting to attack. She's left that in short, and then it gives Victor an opportunity here yeah. to just play that short ball in. I think it would be a good tactic to start attacking that forehand a little bit more. I definitely think you should go into coaching when you've finished your playing career. It's brilliant. It sounds stressful. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. And you'll see a bass then try and take it back over to that backhand. Yeah, right there. That, that there. She's going to try and take it, and then it will open up that volley there. 
Yeah, she's looking Victor. switch. This is much better squash here from Victor. The pace is very frantic though, isn't it? That's yeah. it's the pace that, that Abbas wants. Yeah. It's a little bit better, even though it's the backhand side. Victor just just slowing it down slightly. Yeah. Oh. Be careful. As soon as that ball went cross court, down, but not wide Hello. enough, it's I could trouble. see she was in trouble. Three, two. That's a brilliant volley from Abbas. That's a great shot. A little bit loose on that cross court there, but punished very, very well. And that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get. She's not going to oh. leave. Oh, it's a nice little hold there. Four, two. From Abbas. Just got to be careful here, Victor, because Abbas is such a confidence player. And every point that, that goes on, she's getting more and more confident. The flicks are coming in as well as the the power play. Yeah, you see, you're right. As soon as Victor wants to take it over there, it goes right. back the other side. If I, if, if I was Victor, I'd be putting it back across that forehand and decision. stepping up early, knowing that that cross court's coming, and then attacking that front front backhand there. That's where you can you're going to be able to expose her because she is always looking to cross it back. Yeah, there. it's a little bit about positioning, isn't it? Yeah, this is definitely only a let ball. There's a lot of room here to play this. Yeah. It is a poor shot from Victor, but there's a lot of room there. I think. I mean, that's Upheld. Yes, let decision upheld. The bass has one review remaining. Left box for two. Oh, wow. Tez. Wow, what a shot I mean, that is. I don't know where to start with that. I mean, the the footwork, she had to move back, which is very unusual, so fast That's with the feet. That's just so close to her body, and she's so just... So close to the body, and the improvisation, and the adjustment, that was and then it just rolled out the nick. She's too good. Very impressive. Yep. Oh, absolutely flying. I mean, she's going to be Six a very, very hard woman to beat. You can see it. You know, the confidence is there with Abbas. She got really onto that so early yeah. as well, didn't she? She saw it come in, onto it early. Yeah, the power is um, and the speed is quite phenomenal. It's a lovely shot there from Victor. Just changing up that pace. Yes, right. Unusual, we're seeing a lot of sort Six of two. catching of side walls from Victor. Not something you normally see when you you associate Victor playing. Um, normally so accurate, isn't she? And I, I don't know if that's just down to the, the sort of pace that's on the ball from Abbas. I was just about to say the same thing. I think I think that's what it is. I think it is the pace. She's not enjoying the fast pace. She can play a good pace. She's fit, as we know, and she's she's picked up on a, on a few things, and that's why we've seen improvement. But... Um, I don't think many people would enjoy the pace, to be fair. You know, it's an, another brilliant drop shot Seven from Abbas. Again, though, landing just in front of that service box, isn't it, as a length? It just needs to be one or the other. Put it in short or deep, that around the middle. just needs to be cut out, really. But on the other hand, Abbas is not missing either. So... You might get away with a couple of those, mightn't you, in a match. Say you leave it short, but you get away with it. But she's just not letting. Victor yeah, she's settle. ruthless. Yeah, she's, ruthless. Been, she's not letting her settle at all. So, so clinical and, and powerful. Victor step up a little bit. And this, oh, that is a great shot. Yeah, and you can see she's trying everything, Eight, Victor. And she's, she's always been a fighter, hasn't she? But sometimes you just have to say too good. Yeah, but the ball's short. But I think that's the pressure, the general pressure, isn't it? That, that Victor's feeling. She's yeah. just losing the accuracy that we used to from her. Because the pace is, is just uncomfortable. That's better. Great shot there. Good finish. Good finish. 
see if that sort of brings her, you know, a little bit more positive now. Good length taken, punished there with the short ball. Yeah, I think just needs a couple more points on, on the board. I know it sounds obvious, but I'll just, you know, get a bit of momentum here in this second. Maybe a couple more drops like that, a couple more winners. You've definitely got to have the mindset at this point to just make this game as hard as possible. And out. That's a, another error there from Fichter, but three. kind of almost yeah. forget what the score is right now and just try and make this game as long as possible. Make these rallies hard to create a little bit of doubt when they come back on in this in the third game. Hitting, isn't it? Yeah. It's really it's very good solid. Hitting. She's hitting the targets virtually every time, Abbas. You can see it, she can she can feel it. It's just everything she touches turns to gold. It's made life very, very difficult for Victor. That's rare, it says. Yeah, I think that's the first error we've seen <laughs> in, in <laughs> probably 20 minutes. Yeah. No, it's just a great place to be, isn't it? When, you, when you're in the zone, and you just can't miss on that. And you, you know that you, you're making your, your opponent lose their confidence. And that, that is a tough thing to do against somebody like Victor. Oh. Out. You, what do you think? Four, game two abass, I've got abass, the glasses please, on, but games to zero. I, saw sure, I think that might have just stayed in. No, ball was out. Yeah, she's just going to have to accept that, unfortunately. Olivia Fichter and Nada Abbas taking the second game, 11-4 in 13 minutes, and it's pretty pretty long duration considering the scoreline. Leads two games to love after 28 minutes. Another impressive game there from Abbas. We're seeing some short length there from Victor, giving her a lot of opportunities, but she is punishing them very well. She's looking very, very confident, moving great, hitting great lines into the back of the court and then punishing with some very good finishes. Solid squash, confident. And Victor's going to have to try and think about doing something else here as we move into this third game to change things up. Two love. Play will resume in 60 seconds. They will resume in 30 seconds. straight away from Abbas but she for the first time just a little bit tentative on that drop shot yeah tentative is not a word we would normally no. use with Abbas is it absolutely not back. Oh, but I mean handle. not capitalizing on that tentativity tentativeness tentativeness uh. so we see Alex Fuller from 
South Africa speaking to Victor in between games, close friends. I wonder what she was sort of putting across to Victor there in between games. Not an easy job to do at this stage of the match, but oh, that's a great shot. She just rolls that in off the wall. 2 1. Well, when Abbas is playing like this, uh, she's just a force to be reckoned with, isn't she? Look and at this. She just rolls that. Yeah. It comes yeah. over the top of it. Great, great feel, great improvisation in the in the in the hands. She's got that immense power, but she's got the ability to to do that too. Thank you. Three one. She just homes the ball into the mix, doesn't she? With those drop shots. That yeah. is just hours and hours of solo practice, yeah. isn't it? She has not missed any of those tonight she is really punishing isn't she like yeah. on the on these i know it's there is a lot of short length here from victor but still she is punishing them every single time Down. that's just the pressure Four isn't it one. the pressure she's under here from from bass playing a shot there that not maybe in the good enough position to play What happened yesterday to another American dealing with uh, Blackford Klein, she she got into a tough situation where she, she just didn't know what to do, you know, because Abbas was just playing so well, yeah. you know, and then you, you run out Five of ideas and, and you, your game just goes out the window. Yeah. It's a horrible place to be. Uh, you can't really think that clearly either, can you? It's, it's getting away from her very, very quickly. and. We said this yesterday when they were playing. You're just feeling like you're doing something for the. I thought she was going to hit that. Oh yeah, so did I. I was thinking, don't hit just, that. Don't hit just that. Just caught, uh, just caught Five Victor one. at the towel box and uh, and stopped the swing. That could have been. I uh, think she would have played it softly though. Straight that she doesn't play anything. Well, she does the drops, but. Just tap, <laughs> a little tap. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, didn't see you there. Yeah, felt for a safety. Lovely shot. And a bit over. more positive there, a bit more aggressive as well. I feel like Victor can Too far. get stuck in here a little bit and just it's not going her way. She is being a bit outplayed. <laughs> Don't think she'll be too happy with, with how she is playing, but sort of just mentally just get up the court and just get in your face a little bit, you know, just get stuck in and get see what happens. Yeah, 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 just see what happens. Just put a couple of tough rallies in. Yeah. yeah. There That's you go, and that's another error coming out of the racket of a bass. And you can just see from the body language here from Victor, she's just being a bit more positive. The shots are more purposeful. You never know. You, you, never, you never know. Like you never know what your opponent's feeling, even if they are two eleven five three up. Anything can happen. I used to say, just like, like I'm just going to hang around and be annoying. It's a good tactic, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> you can stay on the court. It definitely is, and sometimes <laughs> just making sure that they can they can feel your presence a little bit. Like she's sitting off, she's sitting yes, off a bass a little service, bit please. here, and just wonder whether she just not nothing untoward, but just sort of get feel like she's there, you know, around the middle of the court and fighting for that that front, the middle of the of the tee really, and just sure. trying to get something going here. Yeah, well she's not too far away at five three here. Three. She'll Lip. fully back herself here to come Three back dollars. as well. You can see that in a, as she's you said, yeah. in a body language. She's a very positive player, isn't she? She needs a couple more points to sort of get that belief back in again. Again, left it in the service box, and again, that's better. Getting it through to the back. And she does have a very, you know, she has a favourable head-to-head. Victor, she's got to have that that belief. Yeah, and in that last match in Paris, you can see from the scoreline of the games, you know, last two games are 12-10, 12-10, so Victor won, Victor won both of those. And out. Yes. It's Six a bit three. upright there, wasn't she, on that attempted to drop shot. Another huge yell from Abbas. on this, isn't she? Six. A few errors. I think we've seen three errors from a bass with the four points that Fick has won. Let's try and force a few more. Oh. 
Oh, that's a good line there from Victor. This is better. This is. Oh, oh brilliant. that's a confidence builder, yeah. isn't it? That's, that's what you need. What a great rally there from Victor. Absolutely fantastic there from. Just a bit more aggression, though, oh, isn't it? Every, yeah. All those Five drives six. and a little bit more bite on them. Even the way she played that shot was so much more positive. Way more positive. Needs to back it up here with another one. Another rally like that. Ambitious there from Abbas. Came out loose, and there's that forehand again from Six Abbas. Not quite as strong, she's just a little bit close to it there and flapped at it. She's just not as confident, is she, on that no. side? I, I do think Victor can still try and attack that forehand a little bit more than she is. Lovely. Yeah, it's, lovely. it's been Great so delay. much better, hasn't it, in the yeah. last couple, of, last couple of points? Just from actually Seven. just some more Six. intensity. Well, it's the it's the picture that we've six. been used to yeah. most of the time in the last yeah. in the last year or 18 months. And she's just been a game's been negated a little bit until this third. Yes, lad. My mic is off. She thought she got a little bit close to that, but she still yeah. managed to manufacture that brilliant boast. That's a great shot. I think the closeness of the ball to her body made that extra de deception, didn't it? Yeah. Extra disguise. But then you see in that rally then, Victor got a loose one out of that back forehand, and then she still chucked it back to that backhand again. That's where I think just that extra ball onto that forehand. There you go, she got another loose one. And again... Just keep peppering. Just yeah. keep. Just it doesn't. Do you think it's in her mind though? Do you think she? I don't, I don't think she's realised as no. much as perhaps you know. It's clearer to us, isn't it, behind yeah. the court when we're watching? It's an easy game from here. <laughs> so easy. <laughs> <laughs> but she has had obviously a lot of experience of playing Abbas in the last year, so and that's something that she's not necessarily picked up on. Or maybe. She is thinking that she prefers it on her backhand, which is also a, obviously a fair point if she feels like she's got that as well. Yeah, it's a common kind of quandary, isn't it? When you wonder which side to go on because you're strong on one side and you've got preference and you're know, playing so many years you know, favoring one side. talking earlier though weren't we about how much um, Amanda Sobe adapts and how how impressive it is she's, she's got her game that you know she loves that she's confident with but she can also adjust to the, the player that she's playing very well and that's why she's so so highly ranked so successful Still in with a shout though here, Victor. She's, you can see there, she's talking to herself. She's a very determined character. She'll keep fighting to the end here. Oh, that's a 
great show. What a pick up. That's that athleticism we were talking about earlier with Abbas. And the movements are outrageous. It's kind of onto the forehand. That's good. The cross court. Has now. Yeah, sure. In the fit that I'm not sure she's going to get a let for that one. What do you think of the movement there from from Abbas? <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised Victor Thank probably you. hasn't thrown this up for a review. I do think she has to go and get that, but not sure how much room she was given. It's just a little, little bit of movement there along the line. It was a good shot as well, though, so that yeah, it's exactly. difficult to, to yeah. get a let from that. So three match balls now for Abbas. Three opportunities here for a, a huge win. Oh, that was unbelievable. It's huge depth there and unlucky there for Victor. Just got there just slightly late, perhaps. Couldn't commit to the shot and get her feet organised properly. Brilliant performance from Nada Abbas as she takes the match. 11-6, 11-4, 11-7, 3-11, 42 minutes. She's through to the semi-finals. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties here with the mic, so we're going to go straight into the highlights. Apologies. So we see a three-love win here for Abbas. Some quality, quality squash showing us all of her attacking prowess that she does have. A little bit of a mini comeback there from Victor midway through that third game, but not quite enough to get herself back into the match. Abbas will be very, very happy with that performance as she moves herself through to the semi-finals tomorrow afternoon. Check, check, yes. Yeah, he said... Well, the next matchup, the third quarter-final this evening will be between Salma Hani and... Farida Mohammed, that will be on in around 10 minutes. Join us back for that match. <laughs> 